Hey there, Chad Bonger here for Ohio University Libraries. If you're doing tourism industry research, you'll definitely want to check out Passport GMED. Passport GMED has market research reports and statistics for the global um, uh, tourism industry. So you'll find industry and market research reports for U.S. tourism, German tourism, Israeli tourism, Sri Lankan tourism, all kinds of good stuff. This video shows you how to find that data to help you with your research. So when you get to Passport GMED, the first thing you may notice is this big search box up here. Most times it's pretty useful, but if you know exactly what kind of industry you're looking for, a lot of times it's easier just to browse. And so what we're going to do is go over here to the search tree and select tourism under travel and tourism there. And you'll notice this is still grayed out because we have to actually choose a subcategory. And I'm going to click travel and tourism because that's going to get all of these other travel and tourism reports and statistics below it as well because this is the parent category. Do travel and tourism, it shows up blue so we can click it now. Click go. And it takes us to this page here where we can go in and select other categories as well. If we wanted to look at reports for things like shampoo, we could go into beauty and personal care and get all kinds of reports that way. And clicking here would add it over to the category summary. I'm pretty satisfied with our categories that we have there. I'm going to scroll down and click now choose geographies. And once again, the GMED stands for Global Market Information Database. And we can get information on these categories in a variety of different countries. And so if we wanted to, we could say, well, let's choose uh, emerging developing countries or just Europe, uh, things like that. So uh, I'm going to do, let's do USA, and I'm just going to choose individual, individual, individual country. Let's do USA, and in Western Europe, we'll do, um, let's just do Germany. And you'll see when we click there, we get our geographic uh, geography summary uh, categories. Click there, some countries, and we'll click on Run Search. And on the next page, we're presented with 48 uh, total results there. If we'd used the search box and just search for tourism, we would have gotten a lot of results that might have been pretty unmanageable. So that's why we're using this uh, industry browse feature. And so this gives you lots of good uh, market research reports and statistics on various aspects of tourism. Uh, things like that, as well as some uh, what they call uh, local company profiles, some strategy briefings, things like that. Typically, the largest report are these industry overviews here, and this will give you a pretty broad perspective of what's going on in the industry. And then typically, these are 30 or 40 pages in length, pretty, pretty long. And then you have things like uh, some smaller things, tourist attractions in Germany, which are category briefings. Not nearly as extensive as the as the industry overviews, but get, get into some smaller sector analysis and sector data, things like that. So typically you'll have, you know, cover trends and prospects and then, you know, give you some nice statistics and things like that. So really nice way to get good uh, tourism analysis for a variety of, of, of countries in the world. Hopefully this helps you understand how to use Passport GMA to find tourism data. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Take care.